All right, welcome to our next scene in the immunoglobulin series. So here we're going to discuss IgM, and since we're discussing despicable me characters, M is going to be for minions. So minions are going to be for IgM. All right, so before we talk about what they're doing on this bed, let's take a look at this poster back here. Here we see this poster, and it says default antibody. They're holding a sign saying default antibody. This helps us remember that IgM is the default antibody produced without class switching. IgM is expressed as an antigen receptor on the surface of B cells until class switching occurs. Defects in class switching lead to hyper-IgM syndrome, which we'll discuss in a different video. On this side of the room, we note a phone to help us remember the response, the response with a one on it to help us remember the primary response. This is because IgM is produced immediately in response to antigen. It's produced faster than IgG, which is in the secondary response. Over here, we see their computer with some cement going through the screen. Computer cement, computer cement, computer cement is going to help us remember complement. IgM is really effective at activating complement, and we'll explain why in a minute. So now we finally come back to the minions themselves over here. We note that they're in this pentameric arrangement. This helps us remember that IgM is secreted as a pentamer with J chains in between monomers. And thus we find between these minions over here, we find them holding these J's in between them. It is this pentameric form which allows IgM to be such a great complement activator. However, IgM is not an opsonizer because it doesn't have an FC receptor, so a phagocyte has nothing to recognize. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on IgM. Make sure to check out the other immunoglobulin videos. Take care.